It's Tuesday, July 22nd, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Dramatic video has emerged of the fatal shooting of a Palestinian man who was searching a bombed-out Gaza neighborhood for family and friends. The man was reportedly surveying the area with rescue workers who were attempting to recover bodies from the rubble. It appears he was struck once and then twice more after hitting the ground. Activists of the International Solidarity Movement, who recorded and uploaded the video, released a statement detailing the events that prevented them from reaching him. Human Rights Watch says since 9-11, American law enforcement officials have encouraged and sometimes pressured Muslims into doing things that could later be prosecuted as terrorist acts. We saw informants or undercover agents spending weeks or even months with people, working with them to develop a terrorist plot, often coming up with the idea of a specific target, providing money for materials, providing materials, and pressuring people ultimately to agree to engage in terrorist acts. The rights group investigated more than two dozen cases where they say defendants were targeted for use in federal sting operations and then were unfairly prosecuted on terrorism charges. The watchdog is calling for congressional oversight of investigations to avoid the persecution of American Muslims. Fast food addicts may be thinking twice about what's for dinner these days. City regulators have shut down Shanghai Husi Food Company after local media reported it was using meat picked up off the floor and reprocessing stale meat with fresh meat for sale to chains like McDonald's, KFC, and Pizza Hut. China is no stranger to food safety scares, and suppliers have been closed down over the last couple of years for a number of violations. A South African wildlife reserve may evacuate its rhinos to protect them from poaching. Kruger National Park says it's a prime target for poachers, and that spreading the animals out across other reserves may be their only saving grace. More than half of the 560 rhinos poached in South Africa this year were killed in the park. Rhino horn is worth a fortune in some Asian countries, where it's a status symbol and used as a healing agent. Its black market value is substantially higher than cocaine. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. I don't think I did something bad. So you don't think throwing rocks at, at Arabs is a bad thing to do? They hate us. And if we want to still uh, live here safely, like Jews should live here, uh, we need to bring them out of here.